Hi friends, welcome to YouTube channel MacTech Know. -how. Today's topic of discussion is part program for slot mill. So, as you can see, a figure of flat and mill and the workpiece which it is machining and making a slot in it. Okay. So, here we have been given a diagram of a workpiece. All the dimensions are in mm. So, this slot needs to be machined in the workpiece. So what is given, write a part program to machine the 10 mm slot. So this slot is 10 mm. Inside the workpiece as shown in the figure, use a 10 mm end mill. Okay. So 10 mm diameter end mill we have to use to do this slot. Okay. The part depth means the workpiece thickness is 10 mm and the slot depth as you can see the slot depth here is 5 mm use a depth of cut of 2.5 mm it means that this slot depth we have to achieve in two pass first pass will be 2.5 mm and the second pass will be another 2.5 mm so that complete 5 mm okay depth of the slot can be done. So this is the figure. So first as we do in normal program, first we write the assumption and then we make a tabulation for the position of the cutter or the tool. So here our assumption will be that is the workpiece reference. Lower left corner of the workpiece will take it as reference for all the dimension means the position of the cutter okay that is our assumption that is the lower left corner of the workpiece is our reference point then z00 is at the top of the workpiece so this is our z0 so all the dimension above it will be positive and below it will be negative also we will mark the position of the tool or the path as a and b because the cutter, once it goes inside the workpiece, then it will travel from A to B, taking a depth of cut as 2.5 mm. And when it reaches B, it will take another 2.5 mm depth of cut. So it will be total 5 mm. Then it will again move back to point A and it will achieve this 5 mm depth of slot. Okay. So, to achieve this as we can see over here this total is 80 mm and this is 60 mm okay so what we are left with is 10 mm here and 10 mm here okay so if 10 mm is here so means this is 60 and here it is 10 so finally if we see point a or the position A is from the reference in X direction is only 10 mm. Okay. The workpiece is 40 mm. So half of it will be 20. So we can say A is 10 mm in X direction and 20 mm in Y direction. Okay. Then this is 80 mm, this side 10 mm and this side this is 60 between A and B. So 10 plus 60 that is 70 which is point B. Okay. So for point B in X direction it is 70 and Y direction that is the half of the workpiece that is 20. Okay. So our tabulation will be as follows for position A it will be 10 comma 20. Okay. And for position B, it will be 70, 20. Okay. So we have found the position A and position B, X and Y coordinate. Okay. So now, how the workpiece will be doing? Okay. The machining will be done on that workpiece with the end mill cutter. I will show in a form of animation. Okay. So that before starting the program, you are clear about the steps okay 
So let us see how the machining will be done with this end mill cutter. Okay. So see from the top of the workpiece, the cutter is entering and then it is going from A to B taking 2.5 and again it is coming from B to A after taking another 2.5 mm cut. Okay, let us see this again. Okay, so the cutter is coming inside the workpiece taking a 2.5 mm cut in the workpiece then from A to B it is going taking another 2.5 mm cut then going back to A and then again it is coming above the workpiece okay this program will be writing okay so here on the left side I have taken the figure which has been given to us and on the right side I have taken the animation so while we are doing the program we will refer to both of these okay so the program and its description so first of all we will give a number to the program so that later on it can be retrieved next n110 that is the block number okay so you can follow 110 115 120 or you can follow n110 or n120 or you can follow n10 n20 okay that up to you okay or the program which you are using then g90 means here we will be using absolute mode because we will have one reference and all the dimension or the location will be from that so it will be absolute mode g21 because all the inputs in mm and we will be using feed in mm per minute that's why we have written g94 Okay, then end of block. After each block is completed, we'll put this end of block. Next, then N120, that is M06, because here we will be doing tool change, okay, or you'll be taking the cutter and T01. As I mentioned in an earlier program also, that this automatic tool changer, okay, as a T code, it remembers the position or the location of the cutter okay so t01 it will take the cutter one or the tool which is kept as position one so here we are using diameter 10 mm tool that is the end mill cutter okay so t01 then end of block the next here as you can see animation is also being done so that you can see okay so m03 means spindle start that is clockwise okay then i have taken spindle speed as s900 okay in colleges or university they give you a chart based on the material of the component and the tool and the coolant condition the spindle speed can be selected then m08 that is the coolant on then end of block okay so next g00 because the tool now has to come 5 mm above the workpiece that's why Z5 here G00 because it will be rapid travel of the tool okay so now the tool or the end mill cutter is 5 mm above the work surface then G00 because rapid travel of tool and the tool will come to the position A that is 10 comma 20 that's why x10 and y20 okay so now the cutter is at position A and 5 mm above the work surface okay now the cutting has not started now with the next block the cutting will start and here we are seeing G01 because here it will be the cutter will be taking the starting the taking the cuts that's why g01 which is also called as linear interpolation or it can be called as linear travel of tool while the cutting operation is being done okay so as we mentioned that all the dimension which will be like for z axis our work surface 
will be the reference that will be z00 so below it will be negative so here i have taken z minus 2.5 because as mentioned in the program okay or the question that the depth of cut should be 2.5 mm so z 2.5 mm we have taken and then f50 means the feed is taken as 50 mm per minute as i mentioned in colleges and university they provide a chart okay which can be used for selecting the feed so we have taken the depth of cut as 2.5 mm so now the cutter from the work surface top 5 mm now it has entered the workpiece 2.5 and it has taken the cut okay now it has to go from a to b so that's why like y is fixed because here it was like 20 so it will be remaining 20 only but x position will change from this 10 to this 70 okay so that's why i've written x 70 okay so g01 will remain same okay so that's why there is no change only change in x that's why x 70 and then end of block so now the tool is moving or the cutter is moving from a to b after that at b the cutter has to move further inside like another 2.5 mm so that the complete depth of cut is achieved that is 5 mm so that's why i have defined over here z minus 5 so it will be linear interpolation or the linear travel of the tool okay which will be like 5 mm inside the plate so now the depth of cut of another 2.5 mm so finally the 5 mm cut of the slot will be achieved okay so here the feed will be same so here that's why we are not writing the feed again and again okay and also the other codes because it will be remaining same till we go for the next code okay so then once that is achieved now the cutter has to go back from b to a that's why in the next block it will be x10 because the cutter will be coming from b to a after taking that another 2.5 mm cut okay so now the tool is coming to a okay after that is done now it will be rapid travel of the tool and the tool will come to the like 5 mm above the work surface so that's why g00 and z5 okay With that now g28 because rapid return of two machine reference position so that's why g28 so it will be rapid return to machine reference position okay so after that the spindle will stop that's why m05 and m09 means the coolant will become off and finally m30 that is the program will end and tape rewind so finally if you see the mainly what you have to understand is the workpiece dimension and the center point of the tool where it will be on the workpiece okay and the path how the tool or the cutter will be traveling in our case it was first it will be located at a the tool and then it will take 2.5 mm cut and then it will move from a to b and then again it will take a cut of another 2.5 mm so that complete 5 mm cut of the slot is achieved then the tool will move from b to a okay and the complete slot what was mentioned in the question will be achieved again let us see the working or the cutting how it is taking place okay so let us see this once again cut 2.5 mm a to b again 2.5 mm cut and then b to a so complete slot is done okay so that completes our program okay thanks for watching hope you like the video please like comment share and subscribe 
and press the bell icon so that you can see latest videos okay we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye